I loved your ones at Salas. Somebody asked, so I thought I'd explain something that, at least according to my understanding of it, um, morning sunlight, wow. Why is it that we feel trapped by uh, social expect societal expectations? Why is it that, for instance, um, the expectations or mores of a large group can feel so terrifying to us? Okay. Why is it, if this is a free will planet, that we have such a hard time exerting our free wills? And I do have a um, geo-astrophysical thought about that, call it a theory. I think uh, that during the, the long age, the great age, the 150,000 years when Earth sank in consciousness, um, there were, because, because of our misalignment with the photon belt, um, there was a barrier in our own stratosphere uh, that made it that made it hard for our pranic column energy to extend to source. That's what I think. And so the um, the will, the free will, like emotional thought forms of the people here uh, would would circle round under the ionosphere and through the ionosphere instead of going straight to source for co-creation of reality. And so that's how, um, as the ages went on, the collective unconscious or unconscious thought cloud of the world got to be accumulated up there in the lower part of the ionosphere. And so these unconscious, unconscious thoughts, this blanket or covering of unconscious thoughts, are, are, are apparently what is preventing us from, has been until now, preventing us from, from reaching from, from my will to God's will. And now that the, that the age has turned and that the ascension is unfolding, we have that opportunity. Now it's true that the, um, the dimensions and timelines are still infolding and and folding over each other and merging and there's a lot of commotion in the in the dimensions and in the timelines right now and so at this particular moment in, or what appears to be this particular moment in the ascension process um, sometimes our pranic column energy can get through the source and sometimes we may be appear may appear to be trapped in the unconscious expectations of other people. Now, uh, these unconscious expectations, these um, what did I call them? The unconscious thought cloud of the world rose in groups, groups that are set up by humans with their with their various expectations. And those groups that we're associated with are the groups that, in times of, of pranic light uh, occultation because of the infolding uh, of the dimensions and the, um, and the merging of the timelines, at those times it, it seems especially apparent to us that we are, being una we are separate from source and we're unable to get through and that we are controlled by these societal or group expectations, all right? But the very next moment you'll find, um, well, a few hours later typically, you'll find that whatever it was that was merging and blending into the great now that, that we are about to experience has merged and has blended and that we can once more get through from our hearts to the heart of God, from our minds to the mind of God, and from our small human wills to the great will of God through the, through the help of the Ascended Masters, the angelic realm, through Jesus Christ, through all the energies of love and light in the galaxies. These things are possible now.